good evening, Sandhya. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And thank you for asking me. What about you, sir? Yeah, I'm always fantastic. Thank you so much for asking me too. So as we are meeting for the first time, so I would like to know a little bit about yourself. So can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah, um, this is Sandhya and I'm from UP. In UP, I'm living in small village and I'm doing my graduation. It's my first year. And yeah, that's all about mm -hmm. me. Nowadays, I'm getting this opportunity to talk different, different YouTubers. That's what I'm doing. That's it. Okay. So that's great to hear about you. Now it's my turn. I'm going to introduce you uh, about myself. My name is okay. Ashutosh Zivedi and I'm, I'm speaking to you from Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh. And about my education, I have pursued my degree that is BCom Honours Accounting from Banaras Hindu University. Now I'm pursuing my master's that is master's of arts in English literature. Apart from this, I do run a YouTube channel which is based on spoken English conversations. That's all about me and my YouTube channel name is Asu Official 2021. So what about you Sandhya? Do you also run a YouTube channel? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm not a serious YouTuber. I'm not running uh, a channel as I can say because for me, uh, this is a uh, fun or just collecting memory. I used to upload a short video with mixed uh, songs uh, with whom I have done uh, sessions. And I also mentioned her or his uh, channel name. So um, I'm doing this. Yes, you're doing it. That's great to hear. So okay, now I would like to know a little bit about your spoken English journey. So what is the reason behind learning a spoken English? Why would you like to speak better English? Okay, so behind learning this language, since childhood, I, I wanted to study in English medium student, but I didn't uh, get this opportunity to do study in English medium. So after killing, uh, after past my 12, then I realized that I need to learn this language because as, when I was a child, I had keen to learn this language. When I grew up, then I realized now I need to do some kind of work to improve my English. Then I started to learn in this language. Then I come to know this uh, language is so important in new generation. Uh, if you want to do any kind of work, then you need to know this language. And this is our global language. This is our second language. So yeah, that's all about me. That's so, so that's why I'm learning this language. And I love so to talk. What about it's your degree? Fun. Like what are you studying nowadays? Okay, so I'm doing graduation. It's my first year. I'm doing BA Bachelor of Art. Oh, okay. Bachelor of Arts. Okay, that's hmm. good to hear. So now I would like to know that as you started, your, how long it has been uh, like for your spoken journey? How long okay. have you been practicing a spoken English? When I passed my 12, then I started to learn in this language. So I, I think it's been one year. Um, I have not started to learn in this language. Oh, it's been one year. So what kind of challenges have you faced while learning English and what kind of challenges are you facing nowadays as well? While learning this language? While learning this language, I faced a lot of problem because uh, major uh, thing was that when I was learning this language, my family member uh, didn't know about me that I, I am learning this. I was learning this language. I did all kind of activity at night time with the reading, listening, practicing, speaking because my brother don't like this. Uh, he he is uh, more conscious about my study. He always suggests me do your study and prepare for competitive exam. Don't waste your time. It's unnecessary things to learn this language. What you will do to learn this language? You don't need to learn this language. This is a language, not any subject. So I always hide from him whenever he come to me. I just hide from my copies or uh, diaries. I even though I was using his mobile to listen any English content or English movie or English videos, but at night time only he don't know he didn't know anything that I am learning this language. Then after that, uh, when I realized that now I need to talk somebody, then I start to using some kind of applications. Now I'm talking to all kind of YouTubers. So he knows he knows, but he didn't say anything. He said, OK, if you want to do this, you can. So if I talk about my challenges, so Talk a male person, it's my big challenge, as I can say, because I'm I was li I'm living in village. So being a village girl, I can't do that. I can't any uh, I can't talk any male person. So you are uh, 
when i was talking first time i was so nervous i was like i'm going to cry i can't talk uh, any male person but then i realized that i need to talk to somebody because it is also necessary for me to talk a, a male person i listen somebody said to me why you are talking this person have you kept her, his number and etc like that but i didn't i didn't care at all i said okay if we are saying that okay but it was so difficult for me to hear those things whatever they are saying about me but yeah. now i am comfortable mm -hmm. okay so have you talked with the like you know male guys on video basis or is this the first time what about other youtubers no is my you are third one you are third one i have talked to two person who's a male person i uh, you are third one so before that i didn't do that i didn't i didn't have talk anybody on video call i did if i talk about audio call so i did have done this because of my improvement i was using some kind of application that was audio call and that was free of cost so but at that time nobody know nobody know that i am uh, talking a male person because i was using earphone by earphone i used to talk a male person so but now i am talking uh, publicly as i can say so it was quite difficult it is quite difficult for me yeah i can understand of course some uh, like people will say that why are you talking to this person this is a stranger and how can you trust and believe of course a lot of things are there so now i'm coming to another question that what is your expectation from yourself in this language where would you like to see yourself in next 3 years or 4 years in this language so i want to do a fluent uh, english speaker as well as i want i want to be a public speaker and i love teaching if i will get the opportunity then i will definitely teach some children so yeah i wanted to see myself as a teacher in future you want to see yourself as a teacher so what's your ne next plan after your bachelor's degree uh, after pursuing your ba uh, then what would you love to do next so yeah as as i have told you i am preparing for the competitive exams a state level mm -hmm. exams and my future future goal is a being a civil servant so yeah okay you would like to see yourself as a civil servant i thought you'll go into academics as you said that you'd like to see yourself as a teacher as well so okay yeah so no problem so another question goes to you that how much time are you spending for speaking in english nowadays nowadays uh, only 4 pm to 6 pm i am giving my speaking or reading or listening all kind of activity i did only 4 pm to uh, 6 pm to or three so you would like to give two hours on daily basis to improve your spoken english or english language yeah. yeah because for me this is a hobby and and nothing yes this is a hobby okay that's great to hear apart from speaking to people so which kind of uh, things you do to improve your spoken english like do you speak in front of camera like uh, to record yourself only do you speak in front of mirror or practice tongue twisters or just you know practice a paragraph by reading out loud so what kind of activities do you do apart from speaking to people so i did have done all kind of activity when i started to learning the uh, this language at that time i didn't have any kind of uh, instrument or as i can say i didn't have anybody i didn't have any partner with whom i uh, i can i could do my practice so i used to make my video i used to make my recording i used to talk in front of the mirror i used to uh, mimic also but now i'm not doing such kind of work now i'm just uh, rely on youtubers uh, whenever i meet anybody i start to talk to them and nothing else and as well as i'm preparing for competitive exams so i'm not getting enough time uh, two hour or one hour is enough for me to give uh, this particular language and not more yeah exactly as you said that it's been more than a year for you so now if you're giving two hours that's completely okay as you are preparing for competitive exam so you should focus more on that because this is your hobby you don't want to change into profession if you would like to yeah. go forward and make it profession then you can give your more like you know a lot of hours you can give your whole day but your yeah. goal is something different it is not a spoken english uh, only like that so that's why it's fine if you are able to give 2 hours in the evening that's so good and it's very nice you are also facing camera talking to the people so it is making you confident for sure yeah so 
So another question I would like to know that, uh, like, as you told me that you used to do conversation in uh, several platforms. So which kind of platforms you used to use? Can you tell me those so, names? Uh, OK, I used uh, um, Talk Now and S Fluency, two platform I used in my communication skill. Talk Now is a, I, I, it's a, my uh, personal belief or this uh, opinion that Talk Now is a for beginner and S Fluency for the intermediate. Okay, and both so how many minutes uh, you do get on S fluency nowadays? Those applications is a free of cost, but uh, on talk now you don't have any kind of re retraction that you have to use this application for 20 minutes or 20. It's a free of cost. You can message anybody, you can make friend, you can call anytime. But if I talk about S fluency, the S fluency is a have some kind of secretary that you have to follow. If you are a male, then you will get only one day for 20 minutes free. And if you are female, then you will get uh, 25 minutes or to, uh, 30 minutes for one day and otherwise if you want to talk only female person then you have to take subscriptions and if you want to talk unlimited time then you have to also uh, take subscriptions but s fluency is a really good application because um over s fluency you have uh, um, secretary as i can say you can uh, block anybody you can give your feedback uh, feedback if anybody misbehave with you or if anybody abuse you or anything else you can give feedback uh, so that's the, that's why s fluency is a very good application and if i talk about talk now so for female or girl or teenagers uh, talk now is not good that application is a so dangerous application uh, over there people are so bad they are starting talking anything whatever they want somebody is just using this application talk to um, unnecessary thing or searching for partners and etc like that. So who is a serious learner that uh, that uh, girl or boy can otherwise uh, nobody can use that. Yeah, it's very it's difficult very to find out a sincere uh, partner or sincere speaker on those platforms because most of the people they use uh, those platforms for passing their time. They don't use yeah, spoken right. English. You're absolutely right. right. That's why I don't suggest uh, such kind of applications to the girls or ladies. And yeah. for male, it's OK because the boys can manage uh, it. It used to happen with me, even though I used to use this, uh, such kind of application. Sometimes the people, they were not doing anything, only speaking hello and abusing people. So and sometimes yeah, they used right. to disconnect and sometimes they used to talk a lot of rubbish. So it's very common, but for boys, it's better like and it's fine. Yeah, they can manage, but for girls, it's not really good because a lot of people yeah. are there who are only who would like to talk with girls only. And yeah, so right. it's, I can understand whatever you said. That even is exactly though, right. Yeah, even though no, even though once I was just calling, they just randomly they didn't say anything. They start abusing you. If you don't listen, you are girl or boy. If he, that person is not good, they start abusing or whatever they want. I was like, what? What? Yeah, what they, you're talking about? It doesn't about? matter for them because what happens? Few people use those applications uh, for the trial and they use in group. Like if there are four friends, they would like to do this kind of practical or experiment by just you know making yeah. a call and directly they will start uh, abusing. They don't care like who's there in the next side, and uh, most of the people are not sincere. Few people you will get who are really sincere and they would like to learn English. So on those platforms, you will have to focus on your goal. You have to think that something is better than nothing because we are living in a country where we don't have environment. That's why we are using yeah, those right. platforms. So you'll have to focus on that, that you'll have if he's ready to talk uh, like you know, about English communication, then you can talk. Otherwise, you can say, I'm so sorry. I'm not here for talking about something else. So I can, I so you can disconnect the call. That's what the thing is. Yeah, right. Yeah. So another question uh, I would like to know that uh, how long it took you to become fluent in English? How many months uh, you it took you? Do you feel like like you know you are fluent speaker and what is fluency for you? Still, I'm not fluent in English. I'm learning, uh, so I can't say about this how long I took uh, to uh, be a fluent speaker. And uh, still, I'm not. So it's been one year. So I, I will say it's been one year to take me uh, to be a fluent and to remove my fear to talk uh, on video call. It's been one year. Yeah, I can't say anything about this. Yeah, of course. When it comes to perfection, nobody's perfect, and. Uh, it takes a lot of time to become an expert of this language, what I understood. And there are several things to learn every day. 
after four years, five years, ten years also, this is a language. You can't be perfect. Yeah, right, right. So it is a lifelong learning journey. You'll have to learn every day whatever you can learn. And it depends on interest of a person as well. If you're interested yeah. in words, you can learn a lot of vocabulary. If you're interested in making conversations, you can make thousand and thousand conversations with the people. If you're interested in idioms and phrases and slang, then you can work on it. There are several aspects of working on this language. So yeah, yeah right. nobody's perfect and it takes a lot of time. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and another, as, as you said that uh, you are giving two hours, but what do you feel like how many hours uh, anyone should give for uh, practicing English? Do you feel like one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours? How many yeah. hours people should give mm -hmm. to become better in so this language? So, if, if, if any person have started to learn this language, that person should uh, divide uh, her or his time for reading, listening, speaking and writing. Uh, he should do any kind of activity for writing. Um, first day, 10 minutes. Next day, uh, 15 minutes. And another day, 20 minutes. And this is where uh, he or she have, uh, should follow uh, four tips, reading, la writing, listening, and uh, speaking also. Because if I start to doing one activity in one day, uh, six hour and four hour, then it would be the very difficult. We'll start to feeling bored. So we should, uh, gradually we should increase our time to learn this anything. Uh, suppose today I talk anybody uh, for 20 minutes. Next day I'll try to talk with anybody uh, for 23 minutes or 25 minutes. And next day, I'll also try to talk above 25 minutes. This way, I can increase my time. time. Then, then it would be the better for any learner. Otherwise, if I thought today I listen any English content for my listening practice, uh, three hour and four hour, then it would be the uh, good for uh, next day also. Next day, I'm not going to do this. So this is not. This would be not good. If we want to learn this language, so con consistency does matter. Consistency is a much more important. We should do all kind of activity just uh, each and every day. Uh, in morning time, we should divide our um, schedule or just in evening time and uh, day time, night time. We should do just consi consistency does matter and nothing, just consistency. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Even though I do believe in consistency, consistency matters a lot. For so getting confidence, you'll have to to talk and you'll have to discuss anything every day because if you will uh, if you're doing practice today after that again you're taking a gap of 10 or 15 days you will not get benefit of practicing one day so you'll have yeah, to do because, practice on daily wishes that that only can help you yeah because if you start to speaking with anybody or if you start to listening english content then we'll start to forgetting because we are not native we are learning this language we are making environment we are making english environment so we are surrounded with the, our mother tongue. So it's a very difficult to make an English environment. So for making English environment, we should uh, we should inculcate ourselves in this language. We should listen any kind of uh, content in English. We should write our daily routine on our di a diary and we should speak with someone for 20 minutes or about 20 minutes. We should read any book uh, ju just like a story book for one day, 20 minutes or 25 minutes then it would be the uh, beneficial for anybody and that's what i have done so that's why i'm telling and i i don't know what people think yeah it depends on their own philosophy because everybody has their own way of working on language or anything yeah so yeah. apart from just uh, like i would like to know that uh, apart from speaking what you used to do uh, like you know you used to do practice uh, have you ever practiced tongue twisters and things like that no no i haven't done this i haven't done this be honestly i haven't done this right now i'm not doing reading uh, 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 reading and uh, writing practice because uh, nowadays uh, several exams are going on so that's why i am busy i'm just talking uh, with youtubers and i'm just uh, listening any content because while doing household household work i just use your earphone and start to uh, listening any podcast so i'm just doing listening practice oh, and great. speaking that's nowadays you're nowadays. focusing on and listening and speaking yeah because lack of time yes i got it so as you said about the reading so which kind of books you used to read so in my initial stage when i was learning then uh, i started to read uh, my my own book which were uh, uh, which were uh, I had I had uh, read in my 11th or just in my uh, 
10th, 8th, 9th, I had uh, kept all book. Then I started to read uh, those book. After that, I entered in um, uh, spiritual week. I read uh, uh, Mahabharata and Ramayana and uh, Gita. I didn't read. I had uh, I'd kept in my box. And I also read uh, Magic of Week Thinking. Now uh, I have read that book two times. Uh, recently I thought and I need to again uh, read this book because when I read first time I didn't understand. So that's why. And recently I just purchased one book, uh, Sudha Murthy Ma'am book. And apart from that, I have read um, APJ Abdul Kalam sir book and uh, Harry Potter book. I have read a lot of book. So yeah. So you read all those books in English, right? Yeah, yeah, all those books in English, not Hindi. Oh, that's great. It's wonderful to know. So now I would like to know another thing apart from uh, this is spoken journey. What would you like to do in your laser time? What are your hobbies? So this is my hobby because uh, all the day I have to attend my uh, classes. So I am so busy to attend my classes, reasoning, math and all this. So I'm not getting a laser time. Now it's my hobby. Whenever I get free time, I start to listen any English content and start to talking any people. This is my hobby. And if I talk about my work, so I didn't do any kind of work. I am a younger and all my sisters and brothers. I'm just completely free for my study. So yeah, oh, so you are completely devoted to studies. OK, that's great. Yeah. So now yeah. moving to the final question that uh, what piece of advice would you give to someone who would like to start uh, his or her spoken English journey? So I would just say uh, it doesn't matter whether you're from Hindi medium or English medium because it's a very big stigma. People always keep in her or his mind. I'm from Hindi medium. I can't learn this. No. So it doesn't matter whether you're from Hindi medium, or English medium. If you list, if you are thinking to learn this language, you should and you will just start it. And don't listen people, whatever people are saying behind you, because I'm I'm only I'm only one who's uh, started to learn this language. At that time, I was in pressure, as I can say, because being a villager is a very tough. It's a, and at that time, I felt I faced a lot of problems. So. Nothing matter, nothing matter. And just if you want to learn this language, just start to learning and don't listen whatever people saying. That's it and nothing. And if I talk about um, how you should do, which content you should follow, uh, whether you should do uh, coaching classes or not. So once you start it, you will start to understand what you should do, what you should not do. And that's it and nothing. So very important thing is that you should start your journey from today onwards. And oh. you should start as uh, as much early as you can. After that, you'll be able to understand what's important and what's not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. So, would you like to ask anything to me? Do you have any question for me as well? In the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had in my mind, but now I forget. Okay. Uh, just uh, let me recall. Huh, just tell me. You know, whenever I start to talking any male person. I I don't know what happened to me. I'm not able to speak word is in my mouth, but I can't uh, because I start to fearing how I will face this uh, and how I will talk that person. I, I don't know what's happened to me, but whenever I talk uh, female, I'm so comfortable to talk to. So how I can remove my fear? Yeah, so the coming out from this fear is only the solution that you should talk with the male as much as you can. That's only the solution. Now you're talking to me and now you must be feeling a little bit more comfortable, right? The yeah. like now what happens like if there are two subjects, OK, we like mathematics and science is that. So we study mathematics a lot. That's why it is easy for us. If you will not like, you know, read science, then it is going to be difficult for you. So the same way, like you talking to females, you're talking to them and you feel comfortable. It's it's of course like it happens with everybody. But for me, I'm comfortable talking to everyone because I did more than 15,000 conversations over the calls and I did a lot of video conversations with female tutors, male tutors. So I don't have any problem. So the thing is that because I did more and more conversations. So what you should do, you should also talk with the male as much as you can try to face them. Because there is no other solution that if you're talking to yourself, if you're talking to the ladies, you'll be comfortable talking to them only. But the face, like the public speaking is all about is speaking from a stage. If you are speaking in public, then only you can come out from that public speaking is a fear or that stage fear. So the same way, if you would like to be comfortable speaking with males, start talking to them. 
talk with them as much as you can. So yeah, that's right. only the solution. Apart from this, I don't feel like there is anything which you should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice makes per perfect people. So I think I need yeah, to work Yeah, of course, upon practice this. and regular practice will give you confidence and you'll be comfortable talking to the people. That's yeah. it. Yeah, right, right, right. I'll definitely do it. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, okay. Thank you so much. Very, very thanks to you. It was really nice talking to you. And I'm so happy to have a great conversation with you. All the best for your studies, all the best for your language and keep practicing, keep uh, like becoming better every day. So thank you so yeah. much. Thanks. Thanks a lot to give me this opportunity to talk to you because I wanted to remove my fear. Then I choose you to talk to you. I'm so feared to talk a male person. I was just no, searching. Don't be afraid. Like, you know, this is only the one barrier in your mind that you think that talking to male is going to be like little difficult for you. No, don't think about it. Just be confident. Try your best, whatever it is. Because in future, you'll have to, even though if you'll go into any civil services, you'll have to deal there. There will be yeah, right. uh, like, you know, servants. There will be a lot of people, even though in interview also, there will be a lot of people in panel, maybe one or two ladies or four to five male uh, interviewers. So you'll have yeah, to face right. them. And if you will be afraid, yeah. how will you be able to come out? Uh, how will you be able to clear that interview? So it's very important for you to talk with everyone, male or female, doesn't matter. You'll have yeah, to yeah, speak right. as much as you can. Yeah, right, right. Thanks. Thanks a lot to give me this opportunity to talk to you. Yeah, pleasure mine always. So, okay, thank you. Bye. Take care. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.